the member of parliament for Amuhaya. Teachers are actually, have actually stagnated. Having served as a teacher one time, I want to say that there are some teachers who have stagnated as many as 15 years in one job group. 10 years. Last, in the last financial year, the members of the education committee managed to squeeze that to get about 1 billion shillings, which was a drop in the sea to assist about 20,000 teachers to be promoted. In fact, what the petitioners are asking, 1 billion is quite less little, noting that thousands have stagnated. And the current population of teachers in this country is about 400,000. So we really need money that in the subsequent budget or any other budget-making process, these teachers need not less than 3 to 4 billion shillings for them to be promoted adequately and be compensated enough. I thank you and I support. Thank you. Members, the petition is committed to the Public Petitions Committee for consideration and to report back within 60 days. What is out of order, Bowen? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't wish to <coughs> comment about the petition, Honorable Speaker. I've already committed the petition. But I just want to ask, Mr. Speaker, this petition will be committed to the Petitions Committee. It's already been committed. What is the uh, relationship or what is uh, the role of the Departmental Committee, Honorable Speaker, given now in our standing orders we have a, a committee which is uh, supposed to deliberate on that petition, and again, in the Education Committee, Mr. Speaker, as the Chair of Education, Mr. Speaker, and the Education Committee, they have an information which can help. It's not only on the Education Committee, Mr. Speaker, there are many petitions which is touching on different areas, like even my case of blue economy and water, Mr. Speaker. If there is a petition to do with water, Mr. Speaker, and I have an information as a chair, because maybe in one way or another we have allocated some money because of that project which has told or, uh, or something like that. What is our role as departmental chairs or the departmental uh, committees in relation to uh, petitions? Mr. Speaker, I think it is something you need to rule out so that uh, we as departmental committees, we can help in a way with some of these many petitions. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. You know, Honorable Bowen, your standing orders say that public petitions be committed to the Committee on Public Petitions. As a good citizen, whether you are a chairman of a committee or not, if you have any information that can be helpful to the prosecution of the petition, you are at liberty to go to that committee and assist the committee in bringing a better report to the House. Thank you. Next. Yes, Owen? On the same matter? Uh, what uh, uh, the guy who took my name and added a B on, on front, I just want to say that now that our standing orders allow that uh, you can have a joint sittings of uh, committees, why? Because of the gravity of this matter and the sensitivity with which it carries, and that the education committee uh, is well versed to matters of uh, how much budget is allocated and the progression of teachers and all that, I request you, Honorable Speaker, if you may see fit, that uh, you allow that the uh, Commission petition does a joint uh, a hearing or carries a joint mission on this matter. It will give credence to what the, re of the kind of report that we will get. I request you, Honorable Speaker. The request is declined. <laughs> uh, next. Order number five, papers. Order number six, notices of motion. Honorable Moses Kirima. Yes, Speaker. I'm ready, Speaker, with the motion. And I wish to move the Speaker, the, mo the motion on... Uh... You are not moving any motion. You are giving notice of motion. Yeah. Speaker, I beg to give the notice uh, give to i beg to give notice of motion on establishment of an uh, emergency price control framework mm -hmm. of which honorable speaker that aware that the stability and the growth 
of the country's economy is dependent on sustained affordable prices of essential commodities, thus allowing for regular and interrupted consumption of goods and services. Further aware that the Price Control Act 2011 mandates the government in consultation with the relevant industry players to declare any goods to be essential commodities and to determine the maximum prices of the commodities taking into account any relevant treaty or convention ratified by Kenya, noting that despite the provisions of the Act, global demand and supply can lead to unpredictable changes in the prices of essential goods and services. Further noting that the unscrupulous business practices often emerge during price fluctuations with some businesses taking advantage of price and deviations to overcharge customers in instances of 